Okay, here's what you need to do to prep your lollipop lamb chops. You can purchase these from your local butcher. Prepare it this way, but if not, you can prepare it like this. Take your knife, run along the side of the bone, removing the fatty tissue on both sides. this. You can, you can keep that fat and that little piece of meat that comes off with it. You can use it to make an au jus. You can use it to uh, prepare a gravy or use it for stock or you can just toss it. Once you've cleaned your lamb chops, you can season them with salt and pepper and garlic to taste. Hi, I'm Chef Mike. And I'm Chef Will. And welcome to TheHouseOfWebster.com. Today we'll be preparing for you lollipop lamb chops. And Mike, we're going to use the Lobster Bay Drawn Butter Sauce. This is the original today. Outstanding. We'll prepare this dish. You need garlic, pepper, salt, French lamb chops, olive oil, and our Lobster Bay Original Drawn Butter. That's right, Mike, and besides the original Lobster Bay Drawn Butter Sauce, we offer six other flavors, as you know. And Will, what are we going to garnish the lamb chops with today? Well, Mike, I made these potato pancakes. These are real easy to make. I just took some instant mashed potatoes, a couple eggs. Uh, I use about one egg per four-ounce package of instant mashed potatoes, water, and salt, and pepper. And you make them kind of dry so that you can form them into a pancake, which you see like this. You can form them with your hands, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you don't want to get them too moist, uh, but you can see just about like that. Outstanding. Let's get started. You want to fry them up? Let's do it. All right. Well, you need to add a little olive oil in before you start. Give it a shot there, Mike. Also, put some Pam in the pan to make sure that it doesn't stick. All of these don't stick very badly. Uh, I like to use a little pan spread. These won't take long to cook. Just brown them lightly on each side. They'll be plenty hot and tasty. And what's the other thing, Susan? There we go. Mike, how about that lamb chops? Yeah, Chef, we've got the pancakes on. We're going to add a little olive oil to the pan. Bring our heat up to high. Lamb is generally prepared medium to rare. So you really don't want it. You just want to sear it on both sides to where it is still very rare in the center. We've already pre-prepared our lamb. Add those to the pan. Look, Chef, what can you hand me? Uh, some salt? And you'll let these cook for about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side, depending on the size of the lamb chop. These are pretty small, so we're gonna add, we're gonna cook these for about a minute to a minute and a half. These are uh, lightly browned. Easy, and they're not sticking, which is good. Easy. Once you got them seared on one side, you want to turn them. So they're just nice and brown on the top. Let a little of the olive oil run over. Down the side. You don't want too much olive oil in the pan because you don't want to burn the tips of the uh, of the bones. The little bones are pretty. Ah, beautiful. Oh, good too. Oh yeah. Now, will once these are done, you can just turn off the heat. Set them back on the back side of the, the grill while you're getting ready to plate. Thanks, Mike. I think my potato pancakes are done too, so I'm going to turn them off. What's next? So we'll, we'll get ready to plate the pancakes and plate the, plate the lamb, but we need to let it rest for about a minute. Why do we let the lamb chops rest? We let them rest because we don't want them to be chewy on the bone. When it, once it cools, it makes it more tender and makes it pull off the bone. 
No, Will, we're ready to plate. Okay, I got the pancakes. Uh, I've got the lamb chops, and we're going to set them to the side for just a second. They've been resting. Hey, Mike, I made a salad. Sounds great. Let's set it to the side, and we'll top it off at the very last with the beautiful salad. Thank you. Go ahead and let's plate our pancakes. You want to do two or three? Let's do two. This is the Lobster Bay Original Butter Sauce, which is a blend of herbs and spices that uh, uh, I guess it's an old family secret from, uh, what, from Boston? Absolutely. Boston area? It gives it a little that New England flair. Mm -hmm. Put that one right in the very middle right there just to top cool. it off. Set this back on the stove so nobody gets fired. All right. I'll let you do that. We offer these in seven other flavors. It comes in lemon, lemon herb, garlic, garlic and herb, chipotle, and cracked peppercorn. And may I have a spoon, please? Mm -hmm. This is better than a hollandaise or bernays, and we're just going to top it off like you'd use a hollandaise or bernays sauce on the top of the lamb chops. Just look at that nice, rich, butter texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will, the, the reason this is so rich and thick and creamy is because it still has all the butter fat and milk solids still in the product. So I have a little flare there for somebody. You know, I like to dip it on the side there, don't you? Alright. Let's just add a little salad there on okay, the... Okay, I'll get it. For garnish, and we can add some tomatoes there. And you're ready to serve. Wow, that's fantastic, Mike. I think you really got a great meal there. You can just go to your butcher and pick up some lamb chops, whoop your little potato pancakes up, and it's a gourmet meal. It all takes about 15 minutes to prepare. That's cool. Thank you for coming out today. To the houseofwebster.com, where we will have new recipes for you weekly. And look for us at thehouseofwebster.com. And see all the new exciting items at housewebster.com.